Hey, this is Andrew from Botlink, and we're gonna go over how to use the volume measurement tool. Start by clicking the center on my location button to center the map on your current location. And then use the zoom buttons to zoom in and out on the map. To begin the upload of a new flight, click the upload button. Give your new flight a name and select the correct flight type. Select 3D model for volume measurements. Select your image set and click upload. From the uploader screen, you can edit your upload name, review flight details, and delete any unneeded images or files. Use the anchor points to set the cropping area. Cropping unnecessary sections will result in faster processing times and cleaner edges. Once you're ready, click Upload. You can monitor the progress of the upload in the Uploads window. After that, you can upload more flights or hide the uploader by clicking the Back button. The flight will shortly begin processing as indicated by the status under the flight name. Once complete, click View to see your flight. From here, you can select between Survey, Digital Surface Model, and 3D. Click on DSM to reveal terrain information. In 3D view, you can see your data from all angles. To make a volume measurement, go to the survey or DSM view and select Add New Area. Get as close as you can to the pile without being on top of it, and then draw the shape around it. Click on the last point to save the area. You will now see the total area and perimeter and volume of your new shape. Click the check mark to hide and display the shape. And that's it, you're good to use the volume measurement tool at any time. If you have any questions, check out support.botlink.com for detailed guides on our software. Or click on the chat bubble to talk to one of our customer support specialists. Feel free to leave your email and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or if you'd like, reach out at support at botlink.com or call 701-412-2988. And make sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos and tutorials.